Uh, right now, let's turn to, well, the hysteria that we saw. We saw this last year. We had the heat wave here in the UK and across large parts of Europe. We're seeing southern Europe battered by, a, I think it's called a heat storm. I think this is a new phrase. Hadn't you heard this before? A heat storm. We've got basically Saharan temperatures up in large parts of southern Europe, hitting uh, Spain, Italy uh, and Greece. That said, uh, large parts certainly of the UK and northern Europe actually uh, not seeing very nice temperatures at all. In fact, some of us be quite happy to have those sort of temperatures. But we are told this is the end of humanity. Uh, one warning from a climate uh, expert, apparently, uh, on Sky yesterday referred to how the uh, flat lake was going to become an inferno if we didn't act on climate change. Let's talk to Jim Dale, always a reliable voice of reason on these things, author of Whether or Not the Personal and Commercial Impacts of Weather and Climate. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning, Julia. Are you in a hysterical state this morning about the possibility of temperatures reaching 46 Celsius at 115 Fahrenheit in parts of the Med this, uh, today? Are you in a hysterical state? I, you don't look I think it. I think the word hysteria actually comes from people like yourself, Julia. Well, women women's say. actually relates to, to women, but there we are. Well, no, no. The, the, this is what I what I think. The, the words hysteria basically come from climate change deniers, uh, people who live in caves, and generally speaking, the media. We in the scientific community report what we see, the facts as they as they occur. So whether we're talking wildfires, heat waves, mm -hmm. uh, these sort of record temperatures, that's what we're reporting. Everybody else converts it into whatever they wish to, including yourself. Well, I'm not converting. I'm, I'm quite happy to report that it's a heat wave. When it's hot, it was, it was rather unpleasant last summer when we had those. Uh, I, my, my bedroom was unbearably yeah. hot. It was very unpleasant. I wasn't enjoying it. I don't want to live in a very hot country. I love the, the British the British climate rather more than I could ever live in a really boiling hot country. Um, but I'm not hysterical about it because I don't see it as a crisis and I don't think that the world's going to become an inferno and I don't think it's the end of humanity as we know it because we've reached 1.2 degrees Celsius warming since 1880 and possibly going to hit 1.5 degrees and then that suddenly we're going to be uh, hitting some sort of tipping point and that's the end of the of life on planet earth i think when you go from oh isn't it unpleasantly hot oh by the way everyone you know but make sure you're a bit safe especially if you've got breathing difficulties or you're elderly or very little keep out of the sun other than that i don't think it's a story but according to yeah, most it, of the it media is it is the <laughs> end of life as we know it that's the exaggeration, if you like. That's what what you like to put across. That's but not, not me. I'm not here. putting that across. Well, look, for people who for people who live in in these these very very hot places and getting more extreme by the second, for people who are leave, leaving this country to go and visit on holiday to 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 these resorts and whatever, I think they're feeling it. To be frank with you, more than feeling it. Let's cast our mind back to last year in the summer. Yeah. We talked in the summer last year, if you recall. Um, uh, the uh, Bas one of the Barcelona uh, medical institutes. It took them about a year to do this, but their findings were that sixty thousand people, lo plus sixty thousand people, lost their lives due solely to the heat wave that occurred in Europe last year. Across the whole, the, of, Europe. Across the whole, whole of Europe, across the whole of Europe, yeah, millions 60, and millions of people have died across Europe that summer. But sixty thousand more. We know that any well, temperatures good above, above, around, above or below around nineteen or twenty degrees Celsius. People, more people will die with elderly, vulnerable people will, will die, but above or below. But you know as well as I do that nine times as many, well, nine out of ten deaths um, from extreme temperatures are from cold, not heat. But it's, it's not a, a, a battle to the bottom. It's not a, a race to the bottom. No, but That's we're better not, off living in know, hotter look, climes look, than me, colder let climes. Me have a, let me have a sweet look. Whether we are, whether we're not, the, you know, we're no, trying we to... No, we are. No, no, no. You said you dealt in facts, Jim. The fact we're, is, we're the fact the is, game. more people in Africa die from cold than die from heat. People are able to so. live in I hot really temperatures much so. more easily than cold. Look, this is the sort of stuff that gets banded out. It, it basically comes no, out of fact. Trump world, out of America, into here. It's picked up by uh, the fossil fuel uh, deniers that are around. And these... these fossil fuel deniers? What's a fossil fuel facts. denier? No, they're, they're not facts, Julia. Let's make this absolutely so clear. You're, you're thinking, you don't, you don't think it's a fact that more people die from cold than, than die from heat? Because no, that I, is an established think, medical it, fact. The Bunsen burner is on those deaths through heat. There's no <laughs> doubt about that whatsoever, which is why I mentioned the 60,000 people who died. And they will, look, by the end of this summer, there'll be a hell of a lot more. And if we want to see how serious this is, you can't just look at Europe and say, oh, that, yeah, because you can get extreme temperatures at any time. We've had them in the past. We've got them now. However, and this is the trick, this is the trick. You've got to join the dots, what's happening around the world, what 
what's happening with sea surface temperatures around the world, mm -hmm. what's happening with Antarctic sea ice in, in terms of disappearing to record levels. We're about and to hit potentially again. record record temperatures. Uh, in Europe, it's already... When you say, Rob, you say record temperatures. You say, again, we talk about this. Yeah. Like, often these records are just coming back from... You know perfectly well it was warmer than this centuries ago, and certainly thousands of years ago, when human beings were still existing on the planet. It's an absolute nonsense to claim no, these. Uh, They're NASA record temperatures get... in modern times. Now, NASA have actually, um, uh, again, done a, done a, done a, I say a study. They, they do their, their, their job. That's NASA scientists and whatever. Mm -hmm. And they suggest that it's been it's now now the warmest for 125,000 years. But this is the this is the point. It's you know let's just not 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 necessarily focus on Roman times or this time or that time. What happened then happened then with with much lower populations density. Oh, in that case, but it, and without any fossil fuels, weirdly, who knew? Yeah. The, the climate does change <gasps> naturally. No. What's the point I'm going to make, the point I'm going to make is it's the speed of change within the last 30 years, and particularly the last 10 years, mm -hmm. that, it, that it's the, 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 the exceptional thing that's going on at this moment in time. That's what's... Oh. That's what's All right, really OK. And, but, but you're still not hysterical about it, and that's good to know. Hysterical, you can keep to your hy hy hysteria because I'm that's not hysterical. I'm, I'm literally the opposite of hysterical. I'm I'm just packing well, sun cream for next week's holiday. coming from then? It's coming from the media. Let, let's, let's, let's make that clear. It's coming from the media, ain't coming from talk TV. Uh, Jim Dell, you know it's always lovely to talk to you. Thank you. You're looking very relaxed for someone who's seeing the end of the life as we know it on the planet. But there we are.